Hello, my name is Joel Abava, and I'm the Franchise King. In today's video, I'm going to talk about expertise, specifically expertise in the world of franchising. If you're going to invest in something big, like your own franchise, I would suggest that you choose some professionals to work with, to work alongside with. A CPA that's familiar with the franchise business model, or at least small businesses. An attorney who's familiar and experienced in franchising. And any other professionals that you run across that know franchising. While you're looking for a franchise, before you even do your research, you should choose someone to work with. But what kind of qualifications should that someone have? Well. In my experience, I think that if you're going to work with someone side by side as you look for a franchise and research a franchise and maybe even buy a franchise, I think they should be credited with writing articles. Um, not only should they have their own website and write articles on that website, but they should have the experience of writing some guest articles on other websites and not just franchise websites, but business websites business websites that have credibility. Just a thought. So if you're going to work with someone um, uh, in franchising who say they have expertise, do a Google search, put their name in, and, and follow that name with articles and see what they've written. Also see if they've been interviewed um, on podcasts, on radio, on television. Um, have they been uh, an expert source for reporters, either in print media or online media. Very important, because if others see them as credible, then maybe you can too. Another thing you should look for, have they written a book about franchising? Uh, or have they contributed to a book about franchising? I'm not talking about putting their name on a book and having it ghostwritten, but I'm talking about are they really the author? Speaking of author, and, and authority. Um, I would hope that if you're going to work with someone in franchising, that they have a website. But since most people have a website, have they gone deeper? Are there articles you can find on the website? Um, are there videos or, or podcasts? But this one is really important. Is their name, address, city on the website somewhere? Can you contact them easily? Or are they using a pseudo name? Are they calling themselves something or other, but they don't put their real name on the website? That is a red flag. And I've seen that uh, more and more. So be careful. You know, you want to know who you're talking with. Those are some of the things that I would look for um, if you're going to work with someone in franchising who either claims to be an expert or someone has told you is a franchise expert. Finally, the last thing, Years in business. How many years has this person in franchising been in business? And how many years have they been around franchising? Better yet, how many years or how many places did they work as a franchise employee or a manager or even an owner? Dig deep. Find out what that expertise is. Just be some, just because someone can make good videos or can work with a, a software engineer and create software that will help you get information on franchises, whether it's uh, FTDs or spreadsheets with numbers or anything. Do they have actual franchise expertise? What industry are they coming from? Find out and get some references. I'm Joel Ababa. I'm the Franchise King. And if you'd like to learn more about me and franchising, go to thefranchiseking.com. Thanks for watching and be careful when you choose a franchise expert.